Hey, what's up, friend? This is me again. Today's video is gonna be about the web got cross site scripting reflected. This video is a part of the web got series I did upload in uh, YouTube channel. So make sure if you're new to subscribe to my channel, to share, and of course to comment. So let's go and get started now. Again, in order to do to the, the the training sample, you need to log in in a web got. You need to make sure you understand what web got can do and what's the use for it. Otherwise, it's no point because you're gonna make a lot of mistake and you're gonna cause uh, trouble if you use that to your professional uh, environment. So you need to be careful. This is really a attacking way of uh, of uh, uh, using in a company so it's a cyber security attacks strategies and you they're using OWAP's top 10 which is really critical so you need to be careful have a time to check around make sure you understand what you're doing and if you do it wrong it could be the consequences for the real life make sure you understand the difference what is cross-site scripting what it can do and uh, what impact it can have so just check it check all the most common location you can do it and uh, why should we care for the cross uh, site scripting uh, attack so there's a lot of example there including result if something goes wrong what happened so basically what happened here you need to understand uh, what's all about the type like reflecting the dumb base i got another video for that you're gonna see that very soon and uh grabs as much information you can there is there and uh, i'll let you see what i've done as example so keep watching and i'll talk to you later Right here, you can see some of the scenario uh, created by the web got. So check really carefully. Well, first of all, you need to identify the cross uh, scripting flow in application. Send the URL and uh, check the victim and uh, have fun. So I'll let you do the example and try it. The reflex cross scripting yourself. So have fun. After some mistake, I just found out that the best place to put our injection is on the query card because the query card part you can put number and letters with the spaces, but on the num on the other uh, 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 row on the table you cannot because it's only numbers. So that was my point, and uh, I let you try as well. Just try to put it on query card number and inject your character which is gonna be on your notepad let's do it if you find it so difficult check my example and try to use this code and see the result make sure you copy and paste it right way and make sure every character will be fitting to the table
there you go you got the result so with the message which was in, in the injection character so try to change all this uh, uh, character time to time to see how you can make better than that or you can change so I'll let you keep in doing it try again I hope that video was good for you so don't forget to like it to comment and everything else there's more to come for wet goat series bye